Good morning children. Can you imagine what your city would look like if you see it from 10,000 feet above the ground? It would strike as something very different from it actually what it actually is. Our next to poem geography lesson is all about the poet's feelings when he sat on a jet plane. When he looked down on the earth, he realized how the earth is changing its form. As he was going higher and higher, the poet in the plane learned new facts about the earth's past. But only one question remained unanswered. What is that one question which he did not understand? We will see that from the poem. In your textbook, this is your second poem in Unit 2. Let me introduce you to the author. The poem ge Geography Lesson is written by Sulfikar Ghosh. He was a novelist, poet and essayist. Born on 13th March 1935 in Silakot in India, now in Pakistan. Later, he became a citizen of U.S. His notable works are The Native, written in 1972, A Different World in 1918, Figures of Enchantment in 1986, The Laws of India in 1964, etc. Now, let us turn to the textbook and read the poem. Geography Lesson when the jet sprang into the sky, it was clear why the city had developed the way it had. Seeing it scaled six inches to the mile, there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard, unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky. When the jet reached 10,000 feet, it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated. The logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10,000 feet. When the jet rose 6 miles high, it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land. But it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other, to build walls across cities and to kill from, from that height. It was not clear why. Sulfikar Ghosh. Sulfikar Ghosh used very simple language, simple words to understand the poem. But now let me summarize each and every stanza, then you will understand the theme of the poem. The poem geography lesson is divided into three parts. Three heights, a jet plane travel to study about the earth. On reaching each stage, soaring Higher and higher, the poet learned about the earth. But he could not understand one thing. Only one question remained unanswered. Now, we can take into consideration the three stages from where the, air, the airplane made observations and find the answer to the question that the poet asked. In the first stanza, the poet was flying in a jet. A jet is an airplane that is powered by a jet engine. He was going above the city or at the point when the flight takes off and begins to scale in the city. Suddenly, he saw the city developed according to its needs. He saw the city was not properly designed. 
it doesn't have a specific style so what looked haphazard on ground looked inevitable or unavoided from the sky when the jet plane climbs higher up to about 10000 feet he could apprehend the fact that cities grow water resources water fulfill the necessities like agriculture transport business and others the he found the valleys were populated which meant met the necessities of the people when the jet went above 6 miles there is more water than land on the earth here a logic of geography is that the earth has 70% of water and water is the source of life in this last paragraph the poet is expressing his worries one thing he cannot understand why do humans hate each other the poet is unable to understand the tendency to build borders to erect walls to create fences he could not understand the reason what is the theme of the poem it is not about a description of a journey by the poet poet he underlined the underlined theme is the entire mindset of the people when you are in a particular situation you will look at that situation according to your point of view but if you are the situation in a different perspective your mind will be broad that is what the poet says when he was in this world it was very much unplanned he did not want to stay there but when he reached a little higher he understood why it was so he understood the idea of the people settling around the valleys settling around the rivers he understood why the world look so beautiful but one thing he never understood or difficult to understand was why man on earth was always found a reason to hate each other why men on earth built walls across cities and these walls are not actual physical walls but these are the particular state and countries and their territories protected with soldiers the poet tells us to come out of that narrow mindedness and adopt an open minded attitude towards the entire mankind then only the hatred which comes in our society will vanish that's the theme of the poem and my next part i will explain the poem line by line till then bye